Welcome back. Well, protests are continuing across the country in response to Tuesday's election. Yeah, but now we are learning that left-wing charity organization, the Progress Unity Fund, is providing the funding for many of these protests. Here for more, editor-in-chief of The Politistic, Jennifer Berg. Jennifer, good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, thanks for getting up so early for us. So we've seen thousands <laughs> across the country in different cities uh, rioting, protesting. Talk to us about who is behind these protests and ultimately what are they wanting to get out of all of this? You know, it's, it's very interesting to me that the, the main group behind this is, as you said, Progress Unity Fund. What is unifying about tearing apart American cities because you don't like the results of a presidential election? And, and they're, they're funding a group called ANSWER. Um, which is, uh, you know, like a stop war and racism organization. And, and you look at scenes from Portland, Oregon, and it looks like a war going on in the streets. So they're, they're, uh, the, the names of their groups and their messaging just really sure. doesn't coincide with what they're, they're actually doing. Well, Jennifer, and I believe their end result, they just want chaos. Yeah, no, that's a great point. I think they do. Answer is an organization I learned about in 2007 when I was running an Iraq war group. They did a lot of Iraq war protesting. But it's not just that. Tell our audience a little bit more about Answer. What, what do they want? Who are they really? And what, what are these protests? What are they trying to accomplish? You know, I, uh, a few nights ago, we were looking on Twitter. His account is, uh, is deactivated now, was suspended by Twitter. But Scott Fogel, who is the Democrat operative who was exposed by James O'Keefe and Project Veritas as, as working to create chaos at Republican events, said, if you're going to have signs, don't have them all look exactly the same like you did in Ferguson and Baltimore. So these people take an event and they, and they use it to create chaos, anarchy, mayhem uh, throughout America. And I just I think their end result is this fundamental transformation of America to devolve into this chaotic state so that uh, the likes of their groups can take control. Yeah. They don't want to recognize uh, Donald Trump as the president. And frankly, I think that Obama refusing to take the traditional picture with, with him actually is helping to fuel this. Well, we've been showing some of the footage. Some of it is so vulgar that we've had to just blur it out. And, and we've seen there's been violence. I mean, it's gotten pretty ugly out there. Even here in New York City, we see it, as you said last night, just outside your window eating dinner. How many of our resources and money, I mean, people have all the right to say what they want to say and to have free speech, but when it gets so ugly, how much of our own money and resources are going towards this? Uh, you know, this this Pro, uh, Progress Unity Fund, it's a charitable organization, 5013C, just like the Red Cross, and so they're getting uh, tax breaks for this chaos and mayhem and anarchy and destruction, sure. and then in the end, these cities are going to be on the hook, and these businesses and the insurance companies that insure them are going to have to rebuild, recover, uh, only to what? Have it happen again? This yeah. is the, what, fourth night? Yeah, no, uh, it, it's, it's maybe all the way to Inauguration Day. Yeah, right? they, they say they're going to protest Inauguration uh, Inauguration Day. Jen Jennifer, thank you very much. You know, the Progress Unity Fund funds Answer, uh, which is run by communists and international leftists who hate America and Israel. It's a lot deeper than just Donald Trump, unfortunately. Jennifer, thank you very right. much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, we all know Donald Trump loves him.